What's the crack lads? Welcome to the channel. If you've stumbled upon this video as a newcomer, this is the ultimate guide for you. You're wondering what to do in eFootball 2024. A load of pop-up, a load of stuff is thrown at you without very little instruction. So that is where we're going to come in and this has been a massively requested video from newcomers, right? So before you start your dream team journey, all you have to do is download the game, obviously, start with any team that you want. You can pick any team and you just take their kits. That's all that you get. You don't get the players. You're going to be starting with default players. But the first thing you'll notice is you're going to be bombarded with a lot of free stuff, right? You're going to have coins, you're going to have GP, you're going to have players, you're going to have everything added to your inboxes we see here. For this video, we are taking this as basic as possible. I'm taking it as if you have never played eFootball or PES before and that you don't have a clue what's going on, right? So you will probably learn a couple of new bits and pieces and we'll also have a second and third part to this series. So when you start off, you're going to start with a default squad, right? So the grind is kind of building a squad. Now, yes, you can buy coins, which is the premium currency and the microtransactions similar to FIFA points and accelerate that process. But you do start with this default squad that are 60 overall rated and under, okay? Now, the ultimate goal of this um, eFootball journey, I suppose, is to be able to have a very solid team that you can go online with. Do not go online with this squad, lads. You will get absolutely smashed because pretty much 90% of people that play the game are going to have a ton of GP. Um, if you've never played eFootball 22 or any of the PES games or any of the series, you probably won't really understand it because there is no tutorial in this game. Like, there, it tells you nothing, right? Um, but that's where we come in, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is earn some GP. We're going to forget about coins. That's just simply buying coins, same as you buy FIFA points or bucks or V-Bucks or whatever they're called for Fortnite. What we're going to do is we're going to use the in-game uh, features to actually build a decent squad very, very simply, right? So we're going to focus on this starter tour event. There's a lot of different tour events, but you don't need to get distracted. You can have a look around and see. But basically within this tour event, this starter tour event, it is designed for newcomers and for starting out. You're going to get about 500,000 GP. You also don't need to play the games. Yes, you can do this in manager mode or sim mode, whatever that you want. You can pick the difficulty. You get all your points added up and accumulated. The more points you get, the more rewards you get. There's an ultimate reward then as well, which is a free spin at a really top class player such as Casemiro, right? But we're just going to go straight in. We're going to go straight in here. We're not going to mess around with any of the teams, any of the players, nothing. We have literally started the game from scratch. We've never played on this profile before. And as I said, I'm going to show you here. We're controlling stuff and then we're not controlling stuff and we're controlling stuff again. You can play manager mode and sim it and do the tactics and let the AI play itself. Or else, if you see a chance developing, you can switch over and jump into the action and hopefully do a better job than I did there with finishing, right? But I also want to talk about two key things before you even start playing. Don't get used to that camera, right? Change to this camera. Just trust me. Change to dynamic wide or else dynamic wide custom to two, right? Now, you can mess around with the height, and that's obviously down to your own uh, personal choice. But I definitely recommend after playing thousands of hours of the series, I still think this is the best for dribbling, possession, and for passing. You can actually zoom out a bit if you want to, but my eyesight isn't the best, lad. So uh, <laughs> we, we play on this, and I've just played thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of Pez at this similar kind of camera, right? The next thing I would say is go into this um, command settings section here. If I am going through this, lads, you can always just rewind the video. And we're going to look for the manual pass level. Now, this is the pass assistance. I would say when you're starting off, Give yourself the best chance to learn the, mechan the mechanics of the game, the skill gap in the game. Manual pass level, I would recommend start on two, okay? I know the default is one. I would start on two. I genuinely would start on two. Um, four is fully manual, and then three is a little bit more difficult when you're starting off as well. And also turn off the direction guide. So there's three things. My camera recommendation, um, the pass assist recommendation for newcomers, and turn off that direction guide, which is the little circle that you might have seen under the players there. It's like a little blue circle under the players. That's gone. So you want a clean HUD, right? You want a clean display, okay? Once you've that done, as I said, it doesn't matter win, lose, or draw. This is just a grind. You can just sim these games if you're chilling out, if you're working, you're watching Netflix, whatever. You can sim these games and you're going to be constantly rewarded. We'll get into this match pass in a second. But firstly, we want to talk about the rewards that you get. So every time you literally play a game in this, whether you're playing it, whether you're simming it, whether you're just chilling out doing events, it's, it's literally just a time. You probably need about two hours to get all of this event cleared, right? Depending on a couple of little bits and pieces. 
but you just get bombarded with stuff. You get, you know, guaranteed tickets that get you players. Um, you get GP, you get like bonus players with the events just for logging in. Every seven days, you get a really good reward for seven days logged in. There's objectives, there's a match pass as we talked about. This match pass is kind of like a 50, um, a 50 kind of bonus reward just for playing matches. You don't need to win. You could lose 10 match. 10 matches in a row, 10 nil, and you'll still get the match pass cleared and you get a five-star nominating contract. We'll get into that in part two of the video. I want to keep this as simple as possible, strictly for setting yourself up to have the best launch pad, right? With your camera, your pass assistance, buying your players, the actual flow of Dream Team, right? So once we have this kind of figured out, we're actually going to go back in here and I'm just going to show you something real quick, right? Once we have all these inbox stuff here, you can claim all those, right? We will cover that in a second video. We're just going to look for the GP here. So we can just claim this. I'm not claiming this for the sake of the second video, but I will in the second video if you want to stick around for that. And we're going to go into contract. We're going to go over to standard player list. And then we're going to go in and buy a couple of players. Now that we've accumulated a couple of GP. So we've actually got about 29,000 GP. And we're going to be able to buy a few players. The reason why I'm buying these players is something that I'll get into in about 15, 20 seconds. They are bonus players for the event. So every bonus player that you see... They have different events. They're different, uh, there's different teams. So sometimes it'll be all English league players. Sometimes it'll be all Spanish league players. Sometimes it'll be players from AC Milan that you'll have to have in the event. For this one, it is for bonus teams, which are licensed in the game. So Arsenal, Manchester United, Atalanta, um, AC Milan, Inter Milan, Barcelona, any of those, right? Now, when we go into the starter cup here, you're going to see that we're actually getting a different reward per event right so you can see that the points per victory has now changed to 366 instead of 210 or whatever it was at okay so that means that we're going to be getting even if we lose on any difficulty we're going to be getting more bang for our buck also a bit of a hidden trick right when you are simming games make sure that you have a super sub player in your squad you can search and filter by pressing triangle or y on your xbox or ps5 pad and then you're simply going to go down to player skills, go into super sub and pick a player. So we've actually picked this guy, Colombo. Um, he's a beast. He's only 18,000 GP. He's got really good stats. And you know, you'll be able to pop in a lot of goals with him simply because of his player skills, his AI, his ability. And he's going to be better than any of the default players that you have. If you want to see what super sub does and why we're using it, go to the general information over in the options tab and go down to player skills. That will show you all the player skills if you want to build a team around. But don't worry, we'll cover all of this, right? I'm keeping this as basic as possible. So this says it improves the player's abilities when introduced in the second half. So all you can do here now is once you get a lead, right? This is what I do with the events. Even though I have a, you know, a brilliant squad in my other squad, if I'm starting off and I'm trying to accumulate a lot of GP and a lot of free players and I'll just build my squad to be competitive online, I'm going to just get a lead. Maybe go 1-2-0 up, clear the objectives, then I'm going to go in and, and do what we already did, I'm going to switch it to AI controlled, go into manager mode, and it doesn't matter if they get two goals back, if they get 3-2, we can always just boost back in and get another goal, because we're playing on the low, low difficulty, this is a very easy difficulty, either amateur or regular, depending on your skill level, and literally just let the game develop, right, let the game flow, now we are 2-1 up at half time, and as we said with the super sub, the super sub activates after the 45th minute, right? I see a lot of people talking about super sub and what it does and what it doesn't. It basically gives a boost to the player when he comes on in the second half. So we're 2-1 up. Doesn't really matter if we're winning or losing. We're going to boot in and bring on Colombo, who's our super sub, right? That is his skill. As we just saw, the definition of it is that the player will get a boost when he's brought on in the second half, okay? So we're going to bring him on as a super sub here. And not that this is going to make too much of a difference because we're 2-1 up, but I find that the AI always plays better when you have a super sub or two brought on in the second half, especially if you're losing. So think of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in 1999, boys. I am a United fan for my sins. Currently, we are losing to Brighton, so it's not been a good day for me. But essentially, what you want to do is you want to kind of control the AI as best as you possibly can. You can see here in the 67th minute, Colombo gets a ball out to Shortire, and the ball goes into Andrew for his hat-trick. He has a link in in that, right? So we brought Super Sub Colombo on. It was 2 all. And we actually get the third goal, which ends up being the winner. And that completes the event for us. So we get our first win. We get our objectives continuing to be completed. 
Um, we keep getting total matches, we keep getting GP thrown at us, and now we can start to build that cycle that once we have this kind of money coming in, this GP coming in, we can slowly but surely start building up the squad with bonus players and players that will actually be able to be trained. We're still working towards the match pass. So now that we have our points acquired, we get 50,000 GP and we can turn our attention to getting the chance deal, which is going to be a partner club, depending on when you watch this video, it's on for another 20 days. You will get Casemiro or Anthony, any of the licensed teams. Musiala is there as well. Ter Stegen is there. Alejandro Balde is there. Once we get this, we're going to go back down. We're going to have all our rewards here. We're just going to focus on the GP for this one. Now it means that we have about 50,000 and we can actually buy some decent players that you can kind of have mid-level, that you can actually go online and start to earn some real rewards and actually start to learn the game and enjoy the game by building a really good Road to Glory squad. Look, I know that it's it's going to be a thing of you download the game for free. If you have the money and if you want to spin for coins, it's a very fun part of the game. It's fun playing with the legends. It's fun buying the messy pack for 20 quid. I have videos on all of that. But this is basically whether you are thinking, you're watching this video, you've downloaded this game, you've never played Pez or eFootball before and you're thinking to yourself, is this game for me? Could I see myself sinking some hours into it? Try it out. Try the mechanics. Try the flow of the game. See how it actually operates. This is a good launch pad for that. In the next video, we'll focus on building your squad, building players, and we'll be back with that. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. I will talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.